In our nation's history, only 31 people have had the distinction of lying in state, among them 11 presidents. John McCain will become the 13th senator. News for Tucson's Eric Fink has that part of our coverage. We owe each other our respect, as long as our character merits respect, and as long as we share for all of our differences, for all the rancorous debates that enliven and sometimes demean our politics. As thousands poured into the Arizona Capitol to bid our state's favorite adopted son a final farewell, they were reminded of how his ideals guided his votes in Congress. What have we to lose by trying to work together? That day that he took that vote. No. But he gave a thumbs down. I think that really solidified the idea that you have to be concerned about the people, not so much the politics. The two-time presidential candidate and six-term senator, becoming just the fourth person in Arizona history to lie in state. The plane carrying his body touched down Thursday night in the place he spent 36 years defining the role of public servant. We argue over little differences endlessly and exaggerate them into lasting breaches. We can be selfish and quick sometimes to shift the blame for our mistakes to others, but our country tis of thee. This catafalque will hold McCain's coffin in the Capitol Rotunda. It was first used in 1865 to hold Abraham Lincoln's. Before I leave, I'd like to see our politics begin to return to the purposes and practices that distinguish our history from the history of other nations. I'd like to see us recover our sense that we are more alike than different. As this statesman left the desert for a final time, we're reminded of how he wished to live his final days at his beloved Sedona Ranch. I want to smell the rose scented breeze and feel the sun on my shoulders. I want to watch the hawks hunt from the sycamore and then take my leave bound for a place near my old friend Chuck Larson in the cemetery on the Severn, back where it began. Now back in April, Senator McCain called President Obama and said, I have a blunt question for you. Will you deliver a eulogy for me? Shortly after, he made the same call to President George W. Bush. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.